Once upon a time in the West, Italian, Cara una volta il West, once upon a time, there was, the West, is a 1968 epic spaghetti western film directed by Sergio Leone, who co-wrote it with Sergio Donati based on a story by Dario Argento, Bernardo Bertolucci, and Leone. It stars Henry Fonda, cast against type as the villain, Charles Bronson as his nemesis, Jason Robards as a bandit, and Claudia Cardinale as a newly widowed homesteader. The widescreen cinematography was by Tonino Deli Colli, and the acclaimed film score was by Ennio Morricone. After directing The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, Leone decided to retire from westerns and aimed to produce his film based on the hoods, which eventually became Once Upon a Time in America. However, Leone accepted an offer from Paramount Pictures providing Henry Fonda and a budget to produce another western. He recruited Bertolucci and Argento to devise the plot of the film in 1966, researching other western films in the process. After Clint Eastwood turned down an offer to play the movie's protagonist, Bronson was offered the role. During production, Leone recruited Donati to rewrite the script due to concerns over time limitations. The original version by the director was 166 minutes when it was first released on 21 December 1968. This version was shown in European cinemas and was a box office success. For the US release on 28 May 1969, Once Upon a Time in the West was edited down to 145 minutes by Paramount and was a financial flop. The film is the first installment in Leone's Once Upon a Time trilogy, followed by Duck, You Sucker, and Once Upon a Time in America, though the films do not share any characters in common. In 2009, the film was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. The film portrays two conflicts that take place around Flagstone, a fictional town in the American Old West, a land battle related to the construction of a railroad, and a mission of vengeance against a cold-blooded killer. A struggle exists for Sweetwater, a piece of land in the desert outside Flagstone that contains the region's only other water source. The land was bought by Brett McBain, who foresaw that the railroad would have to pass through that area to provide water for the steam locomotives. When crippled railroad tycoon Morton, who wants to complete a transcontinental railroad before dying from bone tuberculosis, learns of this, he sends his hired gun Frank to intimidate McBain to move off the land, but Frank instead kills McBain and his three children, planting evidence to frame the bandit Cheyenne. Meanwhile, former prostitute Jill arrives at Flagstone from New Orleans, revealing that she was McBain's new wife and therefore the new owner of the land. The film opens with a mysterious harmonica playing gunman, whom Cheyenne later dubs harmonica, shooting three men sent by Frank to kill him. In a roadhouse near West and East Mitten Buttes on the way to Sweetwater, where he also encounters Mrs. McBain, Harmonica informs Cheyenne that the three gunfighters appeared to be posing as Cheyenne's men. Cheyenne arrives at Sweetwater soon after, and both men seem attracted to Mrs. McBain. Harmonica explains that according to the contract of sale, she will lose Sweetwater, unless the station is built by the time the track's construction crews reach that point, so Cheyenne puts his men to work building it. Frank turns against Morton, who wants to make a deal with Mrs. McBain, and immobilizes him under guard on his private train out in the desert. Instead, Mrs. McBain allows Frank to seduce her, seemingly to save her life, and is then forced to sell her property in an auction, where Frank's men intimidate the other bidders. Harmonica disrupts Frank's plan to keep the price down when he arrives, holding Cheyenne at gunpoint, and makes a much higher bid with the reward money for the wanted Cheyenne, but as Cheyenne is placed on a train bound for the newly opened Yuma prison, two members of his gang purchase one-way tickets for the train, intending to help him escape. Morton now pays Frank's men to turn against him. Harmonica helps Frank kill them, though, by directing his attention to their whereabouts from the room where Mrs. McBain is taking a bath. On Frank's return to Morton's train, he finds that his remaining men have been killed in a battle with Cheyenne's gang, and that Morton lies face down in a mud puddle, 
where he leaves him to die. Frank then goes to Sweetwater to confront Harmonica. On two occasions, Frank has asked him who he was, but both times Harmonica only answered with names of men who were alive before they knew you. This time, Harmonica says he will reveal who he was only at the point of dying. As the two prepare for a gun duel, Harmonica's motive is revealed in a flashback. A younger Frank forces a boy to support his older brother on his shoulders, while his brother's neck is in a noose strung from an arch. As the boy struggles to hold his brother's weight, Frank stuffs a harmonica into the panting boy's mouth. The older brother curses Frank, and the boy, who will grow up to be harmonica, collapses to the ground. Back in the present, harmonica draws first and shoots Frank. He then stuffs his harmonica into the dying Frank's mouth as a reminder. At the house again, Harmonica and Cheyenne say goodbye to Mrs. McBain, who is supervising the construction of the railway station as the track-laying crews reach Sweetwater. As the two men ride off, Cheyenne falls, admitting that he was mortally wounded by Morton during the fight with Frank's gang. While Harmonica rides away with Cheyenne's dead body, the work train arrives and Mrs. McBain carries water to the rail workers. See you later thanks for like and the subscription.